Hey guys, now that you've learned how to play Dead of Winter, time to get good. Here are my top five tips for how to win as a survivor. So yes, you do have a personal objective that you need to achieve in order to win, but you also need to help out your team achieve the public objective, otherwise you're gonna lose anyway. You need to find this balance between going after what you need and going after what the team needs. Plus, the more selfish you are, the more you look like a betrayer, and if you get banished, that sucks for everybody except the betrayer. Which actually leads me to number two. Banishing someone is serious business. Now, if you know who the betrayer is, banishing them is the best thing you can do. But, if you get it wrong, your chances of success are significantly affected. Mainly, you have fewer people on hand to do what you need to do, but also, you to see that person that you banished, yeah, they may not have been helping you that much before, but their new objective could have them actively hampering your progress. Because of this, I consider banishing to be a last resort measure. Every crisis has a bonus of plus one morale if you can exceed the offering amount by two. And this can be extremely useful, but you really need to pick your moments for it. Now, while keeping an eye on morale is extremely important, it's one of the biggest parts of the game, Spending extra resources to improve it is not always the best play, and this is especially true if the next crisis that comes up requires the same resources as the last one, which happens more often than you might think. Now, there's some nitty gritty math numbers that go into this that I don't particularly want to go into, so I'll just say that unless you either really need those uh, plus one morale boosts, or if you can collectively produce enough resources to handle the same crisis twice in a row, then don't go for the boost. Instead, just focus on other ways to keep your morale from dropping. Your starting hand is filled with cards that you're gonna to wanna to use for the crisis. I mean, in my opinion, that's what those starting cards are for with the exception of medicine. I mean, yes, junk is good if you rolled crappy numbers, but you can always clean up waste or, or build barricades with those dice. Yes, you need to feed your people, but there are better food cards at the grocery store and you should be going there for those anyway. Yes, fuel is good for moving around, but people use that way too much at the beginning of the game because they're scared and it's there. And don't get me wrong, I've experienced first turn instant death from rolling a tooth. It sucks. But you need to be brave in this game because the crisis can destroy your whole team if it catches you unaware. There is so much to do in Dead of Winter that it's easy to forget about basic maintenance. I'm talking about building barricades, uh, feeding your colony, and just cleaning up waste. Now. The biggest killer in Dead of Winter is sudden morale drops. It's like one turn where you lose three or four morale, a lot of times it's instigated by the betrayer, but forgetting about basic maintenance puts you in a position where that can lose you the game. It doesn't, it's not the reason you lose. You don't lose the game because you forgot to clean up waste, not usually. But they nudge your morale down just little by little and it makes those big morale wipes possible. So those are my top five tips for playing as a survivor in Dead of Winter. If you've got any good tips or if you have any questions, you can comment below or you can tweet me at RTFM Show. Now, next video, I'm going to switch it around and I'm going to give you guys some uh, good advice for how to mercilessly destroy those survivors when you are playing as the betrayer. So look out for that. Bye.